Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. I hope you're doing great. Yes. Awesome, guys. So, so, I think. Okay. How's it going, guys? Very well. Hi. Very well. Hi, Glad to, see, to hear that. Okay. And you? I'm doing great too with a lot of work, actually. I have a lot of things to do. So it's been a very busy day. That's good. Yes. <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> hey. Teacher. Yeah. I'm driving now. I only uh, learn, uh, listen to the class. I understand, Gabriel. Be careful. Drive safe. Drive safe. Be careful. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Um, so today, today we're going to continue with the product life cycle as we were speaking yesterday. Can somebody um, give me an idea of what we were talking about yesterday? As we are talking about the first stage of PLC, and we uh, uh, make a presentation, on, and in the class we uh, we, mm -hmm. we will see. Um, I don't know we uh, about the Volkswagen's car. Rabbit, I think. Yeah, that's right. The Volkswagen Rabbit. Um, the yesterday, yesterday. Uh, was to study uh, five five new concepts uh, like uh, feature, different trait, appeal, demand, withdraw. Uh, what's the meaning of each one? And uh, a one conversation about uh, a PLC. Okay, and something a, else. A conversation about a conversation. Yeah. PLC. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's something that we used to do. We say a uh, one, a uh, one conversation. It's just a uh, one conversation. <laughs> a conversation. A conversation. Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay. Okay, guys, what else? What else did we talk about? Anybody else? Come on, guys. Let me well, get... we talk about. We talk about uh, the the concepts in the real life, basically. The concepts in real life. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically what we did, right? We talked about the product life cycle. We moved on talking about it. Um, you were supposed to make an exposition, right? I just gave you an idea of what an exposition will be how you could explain this concept or the life cycle of any product to a board of directors, you know, or just to your boss, right? Give, you, give him an idea of how a product moved from the beginning till the end. So then I split you, I split, moved you into groups and then you were supposed to, to do a little exposition. There was no time. So let's talk about that part for a minute, shall we? Um, that teamwork that you did, we were supposed to brainstorm about um, the information on the guide. Um, what do you remember? How that product um, was introduced to the market? So let's talk about one product. Uh, what do you think about, I don't know, you tell me biggest, Someone where we work uh, about biggest restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, Francisco. Uh, we we make a, a little uh, speech. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, a little exposition. The biggest restaurant was founded in 1974, and it was click quickly accepted in Salvadorian market. In 1987, start a new stage. They start as a full restaurant specializing 
in hamburgers. Later, they introduced breakfast and dinner and different fast food like a fried chicken, etc. They opened they opened many branches around the country. It was a successful restaurant in the early in 2000s. But in the decade, uh, at the same time, many other multinational fast food companies decide to open branch in the Salvadorian market and increase competition. Unfortunately, in December of 2014, its founder, one of founder Nicolas Salume, died and his relative decided to close almost all the branch one by one. Okay. <laughs> good. Wow. One applause for Francisco. That was amazing. <laughs> that was really good, actually. So the product declined. The product declined in, but in this, 2000. In 2000. But why did it decline? Would you call that a declination of the product by the customers? Is like customers rejected the product? Uh, some people say that uh, it's a decision of the relatives uh, to close the the branch, but uh, the the restaurant was very accepted for the, the Salvadorian people. Yes, there were some rumors about a, some rumors and about a cooker. Also, cook also uh, the other company. Uh, start uh, aggressive uh, aggressive uh, strategies to introduce in the Salvadorian market like uh, Wendy's Burger King, uh, Burger King uh, McDonald's. Kentucky McDonald's uh, the invest of these companies in in these years was amazing in El Salvador Excellent. Okay. Okay, was, thanks. It was amazing, Francisco. Let's go with your feedback because that was very um, useful. Today, I will make you talk. You have to speak and I have to give you a little bit of feedback, okay? So okay, thanks. Used to the feedback. So let, let's talk about Francisco's speech, which was really good. Let's go ahead and... Hey, if I, can you still see the Word document? Yes. Is that all you can see in the screen, the Word document? Yes. Yes. What about now? Still? It's still. Still. Okay. I'm just testing. Okay. So let's go. Main area of improvement, Francisco. Pass. Okay. Simple past, okay? Start. Yeah, you say started. Okay, see. Yeah. Started, repeat, started. 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 Very started. good. Yeah, there's no, there's no E at the beginning, right? So started. You started, very good. Started. Like, like a fried chicken, you don't need this guy here. Okay, okay you, like fried chicken. Like fried chicken, yeah, you're pluralizing, you're giving an idea, right? So like fried chicken, or if that's a buffer, it could be like- a buffer. Like- a, Yes. Like a fried chicken, okay. But it, okay. Could, you could make it sound more natural, like a fried chicken, for example, okay. They- Okay. They opened, again, they opened- They opened- Okay, open. They opened. Um, so, let me explain you something really quick. Uh, regular, regular verbs in past. Okay. Um, do you know about this? Do you know about this, everyone? Say yes. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yes. the ED endings of these verbs have three different sounds. The first sound is the t, -t sound. T -t -t. Okay? So your tongue goes on the back 
of your upper teeth and you push it and you do t -t -t, okay this and that rule this rule says that if a verb on its base form doesn't have a vibration in your mouth then you do t when you add ed examples when you say work okay when oh. you miss when you say fix okay work so if you do this you put, your hands, you put your hands in your throat okay and you say work okay miss no vibration fix no vibration so then you add the ed to the verbs and that ed sounds sounds like t -t. so you say worked 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 perfect very good francis say work okay you say missed or miss fixed okay okay that, that's fixed. the What's the first rule? This. Let's take advantage of this first 20 minutes. Then the second rule. The second rule is the 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 sound. The. Okay. The. So you push your tongue again towards your the back of your teeth, and it vibrates a little bit. This rule says that every verb. Boy, uh, that is not voiceless, you know, there is vibration in your mouth, like save, okay, open, um, what else, hog, no, let me see, hog, yeah, hog, okay, then when you add ed, or in this case, the d, right, you add ed, and let's, let's look at this example in, in close, okay, here we have to double the g, um sure about it so in this case there is vibration let's look at the let's look at the base verb the base verb listen and look save there is vibration if you put your mouth open there is vibration there is vibration okay so you add the v or the ed and you say saved, saved, opened, hugged, hugged. Okay. And there's when when it's a voiced a voiced verb, the last part is voiced. Is there a vibration? Then you just um, do that. You add the v, and it sounds like the. And the last rule says that is the if the verb. If the verb already ends with the D and the T sound, okay, then it will sound like if, if, or red, R R E D, red, red, red. Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, like act, for example, okay, visit, a very common verb. Okay. Avoid. Avoid. Excellent. Thank you very much for the help. Avoid. So then you have act, act, visit, avoid. Okay. Another one. Agree. Oh no, that's already. Let's hold on. Agree. Okay, no, that's it. So act. You add the ed and it sounds like acted, acted. Okay. Visit, visited, visited. Okay, avoid, avoid it, avoid it. Okay, three rules the ED endings. You can Google it, please Google it. Go to Google and find the ED endings. Okay, let's move on. Um, in a decade, Francisco was saying, in a decade, no, in a decade, decades. In the decade or in that decade? In esa decade. In decade. In that. Okay. You, you could have said. You could have said as well. Back then. 
en aquel entonces, back, in, back then, okay? instead of saying in that decade, you could have said back then, to open branch, to open branches, you have to plutalize there, okay? Okay. To open, to open branches or to open new branches as well. His relatives decide, decided, his relatives decided, okay? Some okay. people, now here, you, you were speaking in past, so you had to say, some people say, this is present, algunas personas dicen, and I think you were trying to say, some people say said. said, 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 like said, yeah, like said. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same thing, said, okay. The other company, and this is an area of opportunity that I told you before, other, other, another, the other, okay? I'm sorry, other, another, the others. Be careful with this. So the other companies, that you had to pluralize. Pluralize. Or, gen or generalize. You can say other companies, okay? If, let me give you a quick, a quick example here. Another company. So if you say the other companies, you are referring to plural, right? The other companies. And you have to continue because you're being very specific. The other companies that brought their investment to El Salvador, etc. Okay. Other companies, you're just generalizing. Other companies, you don't know other companies another company singular okay good Let's, and last the invest of these companies in these years hmm the investment okay investment of these companies in this year or in that year okay singular in that year or in those years, whichever you prefer. If you're referring those to years. those years, you're talking about the past. Yeah, those years. Yes. Perfect. In these years, in this year is this year, 2020. Excellent. Very good. Hey, what a plus for your classmate. Come on, go back. <laughs> that was very good, Francisco. Okay, just one more. We still have four minutes to conclude with the introductory introduction of the class to warm up. I need a volunteer. Hey, when I do this, you see the, the screen is totally gray, right? You see nothing right now, right? Nothing. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Okay. Uh-huh. Someone else, don't be shy guys. Come on, talk. I need a volunteer, come on. Or should I choose a victim? Uh oh. Don't forget to turn on your your um your camera, okay? It's very important to have your camera on and have your name on the screen. Come on. I'm waiting for you, somebody. Okay. Um, Francisco, what's your favorite color? Uh, green. Thank you. Aleida, how are you tonight? <laughs> I'm a little bit sick, but so far I feel a better, a little better. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm asthmatic and today in the morning I have a, a crisis. You had a crisis? Crisis. Oh my God, really, I'm sorry to yeah. hear. Do you have your Yeah. Yeah, when you don't know a word, just do the mimic, okay? Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Can you talk? Would you like to share with us your ideas about yesterday's class? Um with the product? And in my group I also talked about the uh, biggest. And in my own opinion, I think that the the decline of, of, of biggest 
as the as the I don't know how what is the name of the the guy that was talking. Francisco. Okay. Um, as Francisco says, I think that the the decline of the company is was when other companies introduced in El Salvador as McDonald's. For me, it's better the flavor of McDonald's as the flavor uh, that Biggest has. So I think that 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 is the point of the claim. Okay. Uh, you're making a comparison. I like that. For me, it's better the flavor of McDonald's. Let's see, really quick. So in my group also talked about the biggest. Can somebody correct that sentence? Uh, Josue Aguilar, go ahead, correct that sentence. In my group also talked about the biggest. Mm, I think, um, okay, I think it's, uh, um, I don't know, uh, we also talk, told, Talk about biggest. About biggest, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest. The biggest. Okay. Remember, the give importance to something and you have to be very specific. To the biggest apartment, to the biggest place. Okay, so in this case, and that's the name of the place, it's biggest. No. The biggest restaurant. Um, still, still, you can oh, okay. say about biggest restaurants, about biggest restaurant, about biggest restaurant, okay? About, because that would be like saying about the Mr. Donut, acerca del Mr. Donut, right? So, and that's the point. Proper nouns, okay? proper nouns don't need an article like the Brian, for example, okay? <laughs> the Kevin, yeah, okay? The Yasuri, just to give you an idea, okay? Yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. there's no Kevin here, right? No Brian? I hope no. No, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't use the, the article on proper nouns, okay? That's not okay. As Francisco says, this is pronunciation, don't worry. As Francisco said, again, said, <clears throat> okay? Or as Francisco says, dice, okay? As Francisco says, or Francisco said, okay? Good, and in fact, he said it, he said it. Uh, for me, it's better the flavor of McDonald's, and I didn't finish writing here, uh, for me, it's better the flavor of McDonald's than, remember, comparatives and superlatives, right? So this is a comparison. For me, it's better the flavor of McDonald's than uh, the one biggest, okay? Than the one of biggest. Or today, we're going to learn how to use this. And you will learn to say, I would rather, rather. eat uh, a McDonald's. I would rather eat at McDonald's than uh, starve. Okay, I think that's the right spelling, yeah. I would rather eat at McDonald's than starve. Let's say you don't like McDonald's, you hate hamburgers, but you would rather eat at McDonald's than starve. You know what is to starve? No. Being hungry? Extremely hungry. Okay. Yeah. Being extremely hungry. That's the meaning of starve. And you can use it like saying, I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm dying. You know, hungry. I'm dying hungry. I'm starving. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, guys. That's learning. 
Any questions? Alvin, you're like, your microphone. Can you hear me? Ben is B E I N G Bean or Ben? Bean. What do you mean? Starving? Ben extremely hungry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Being extremely hungry. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Xiomara has raised her. Oh, Xiomara? Yes. Uh, I don't know what's the meaning of I would rather. Excellent. That's today's topic. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> don't worry. I know. We're going to talk about that. It's very simple. And But you have seen this, right? You have seen models. Have you seen models, guys? Like would, could. Yes. Could. Shoot. Sure. Should. Uh -huh. I think that's it. Um, can. That's it. May. Oh, must, may. Mm -hmm. Might and may. And so on. Oh, there's a lot. Will. Okay. <laughs> All of our models. Okay. So we will do a review of those really quick. Can. Uh, so we can warm up before jumping into the into the topic but before heading there let's start with let's move on with our class okay so as we said yesterday we talked about plc and we closed a little bit that part but the whole unit has to do with uh, product life cycle we talked about market introduction growth maturity and decline then we talked about um, an example, right? How to deal with market saturation. Um, no, I gave you an example with, okay. Market saturation, we were looking at the image and to get vocabulary guys is looking for image, but saturated images, saturated images. So Jacqueline, good evening. Hello, teacher. How's it going? Um, great, thank you. <laughs> awesome, great to hear. Jacqueline, what do you see? Uh, in the picture? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the man tried to introduce in the, in the, in the new business opportunity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, just give me one object, Jacqueline. One object in the picture. One object. Mm, I don't know, maybe... Um, uh, the men think uh, about... Um, Diving? Big opportunity for increase okay. uh, the money. <laughs> <laughs> to increase money. Okay, so um, the man thinks, third person, remember? He thinks. Thinks. On, just one word. Say one word, one object. Well, sorry, teacher. Say one word. Uh, think? Or. Oh. Sorry, I under I don't understand. An object, a word, object? object. Another object. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm. the man, the man. Okay. Uh, let me see, Carla, Carla Molina. Give me one object in this picture. Um. Object. Any object in the image. Hop. Mm -hmm. Object. Like people fighting. People fighting. Okay, so the object will be people. Okay. 
the action is fighting. Now I'm talking about objects, guys. Objects, any object. Okay, thank you. Maria Gomez. Hi, teacher. Hello, give me one object. Um, jump. Jump, that's an action. That is an action, a verb. Okay, Eunice. Eunice is like, oh, no, no. <laughs> Let's see, how it one object. Uh, a plant. Plant. Okay. Yeah. A plant. Yeah, a plant. Great job. Okay, another object. Let's see, Ricardo Rodriguez. One object. Hello. Yeah. No, no, sé, no sé. Repeat, Adam. Okay. Patricia. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Patricia, give me one object. Just one. The main ones, the people. Okay, let's do something, guys, so you can uh, do what I'm trying to get here. From a picture, any picture, you can get a lot of vocabulary, okay? So, trying. Tie. Excellent, that's what I'm looking for. Tie. This thing is not making any bigger. Brown. Oh, you have a tie. Very good. Water. A tie. Brown or wool. Wool. Ground, oh. yeah, this is the ground, this is the ground, okay, ground, this is the soil, That's soil, okay, soil, this is the ground, okay, very good, what else, what is this, what's this? Oh, wait, am I? I can't see the picture. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Here. Oh, repeat. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You're oh. Okay, so what is this? How do you call this thing that looks like a, looks, looks like a, an arrow? Never. Le Banner. Oh, okay. Somebody says label, uh, but it's actually uh, Banner. a banner. What about mm -hmm. a sign? Sign. Yeah, a sign. Mm -hmm. How do you call these guys? How do you call these guys? Cow. This 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 sort of drawings. Cow. Pigmans. Stickman, stickman. Yuppie guys. Yuppie guys. Yeah. <laughs> stickman, stickman, or stickman. So there's a lot of stickman. Plural, man, singular, man. Okay, and so on. You can take a lot of vocabulary. Here's water, there in water, actually. We have ties, somebody said tie. Okay, a tie, and so on, okay? Grass. What about, I'm going to give you a word. Can somebody tell me what's the meaning of this word? Cliff. Cliff. What is it? Um, mm, barranco. Somebody and, dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> not somebody, but a dangerous place. Very good. Uh, it's a cliff. This is, could be a cliff. Precipicio. Okay. Very good, guys. That's the way you get vocabulary, okay? Let's move on. So, where is the presentation? Here it is. Okay, let's move on. So, we were introducing this new topic, which was the um, market saturation. And I was telling you, talking to you about the feasibility study, how, in my opinion, in my experience, uh, when you conduct a feasibility study, is that you want to know where, where to dive 
where to dive, D-I-V-E. And I was giving you the example, right, of a new pupuseria in Soyapango. I went to, I went to Las Margaritas like 10 years ago, and there were a lot of pupuserias everywhere. There was a pupuseria in every corner. So the question was, is it smart, is it smart to start a business in a crowded place? Um, maybe. Maybe me too. Maybe? Why? If you have a better product, it's a, it's a chance for you. It's an opportunity, it's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance for you if you yeah. have a better product. Let's say you already tasted, they already tried like 10 pupuserias in that place. Okay, you're already fat. So <laughs> you already tried like 10 pupuserias and you said, Bleh, this place is, damn, okay. And expensive, expensive pupusas, not so tasty, not so delicious as you want it. And you know you can make a better product, so you have experience. So you introduce this new business in a crowded market, in a saturated market, because you know it is going to work. Perfect. I like that thought. Okay, so we saw this video a little bit. Now I'm going to go step by step with this. If you hear or read a new word that you don't know what it is, just tell me, teacher, stop. Okay, turn on your microphone and say, stop, okay? Okay. Okay, good. So please try to be, try to be quiet. Okay. Okay. So it's not, there's no sound, right? Oh, I got it. Okay. Yeah. It was 1055. Okay, here. Uh, what I brought up before about market saturation, I'd like to hear your thoughts on. Let me show you something. If you don't see the closed captions, you can go here to subtitles, English, okay? Then you go to options and you go to font size. You can make it bigger Ooh, and bigger, okay? Market saturation. I will like to hear your thoughts on making. The availability, making the availability of any kind of a creative work, whether it's a, a newspaper, a work of art, but making it available so broadly that it therefore saturates a market which tends to push pricing down, which tends to then, I believe, perhaps um, support industries as a whole, but not the smaller company, not the smaller individual. And is that where we're going, where it becomes almost like the old motion picture studio model for all creative works, and that that's the only way to make money is if the companies own all of this because of this market saturation? I, I agree with the first half of your question and not the conclusion. So the rough analysis of what's going on is that we went from an era of scarcity to an era of abundance, that the distribution models of the past were largely limited by physical constraints, the difficulty of copying, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you had high cost of distribution, high cost of manufacturing. In, in the digital world, you have essentially no cost of distribution and no cost of manufacturing. So you've gone from the era of scarcity to an era of abundance. In an era of abundance, there are many, many strategies to make money. Unfortunately, the people who made the money in the era of scarcity often don't make the transition Stop. to the next. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Man, you know a lot of words because nobody said stop. So you know, you know a lot of words, I can tell. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. Alvin, what's the word? Scarcity. Scarcity. What do you think it is? The scar sounds like um, um, herida or... Uh... The after, after the... the 
They won. Um, yeah. They won, you get a scar. A scar. A scar. That's, yeah. I don't know. You cannot see my scar. Okay. But yeah, that sounds like a scar. Like the hammer in my forehead when I was seven from my brother. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a scar. It is not related. It's not related to the scar. But scarcity, uh, it has to do with escasez. Okay, so Alvin, suggestion, look in context. Look for meaning in context. We're talking about scarcity and abundance. Scarcity, abundance. Okay, and synonym of that, less thing, less. Okay. Oh. Synonym of what? Lack or lack. scarcity? Lack. 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 Good. Lack. L a c. Okay. Lack of. The lack of something. Very good. I'm like, who said that? Lack. Insufficient. Insufficient. Uh huh. Insufficient. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Very good. Okay. Any other? He was talking about something else. He said something about when he started talking. Oh, rough. Who got the rough? Rough. Limited by physical cons constraints. What is constraints? Constraints. Mm -hmm. constraints. Okay. Physical constraints. That sounds like constipation. Look for it. Look for it. What is constraints? Con Constraints. Yeah. Can somebody look for it? I'm gonna look for it. You, you see nothing right now, I guess. Like limited, 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 limited. Restrictions. Restrictions. Or Restrictions. Or Restrictions. Or Constrain. Okay. Constrainer. Okay. Hmm. But constraints is a synonym. I mean, um, uh, object assist, assistantive, um, a compliment. Mm. Restriction, okay, is, is a noun, is a noun. It's a noun. Or an adjective too. Okay, physical constraints. The difficulty, let me see, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you had high cost of distribution, high cost of manufacturing. In, in the digital world, you have essentially no cost of distribution and no cost of manufacturing. So you've gone from the era of scarcity to an era of abundance. You go from an era of scarcity to an era of abundance. Now, um, who was talking about this yesterday? Uh, the question was, can you saturate? Can you saturate a digital market? Repeat, please. Can a, can a digital product saturate the market? Well, it's interesting because in digital uh, world, we have uh, the YouTubers. And they make a new content, con content for, for any kind of people. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Keep going. Teacher. <laughs> yes. In this time of, pan of pandemia, I think that is a, a, a little bit um, saturation because everybody wants to get money and, and put the, their online stores. Online stores, so I ask you something. Can you mention two or no, three products, three virtual products, three virtual products and their markets? I don't remember uh, the name, but uh, there are a lot of um, page of, of makeup, also stores, where I sell um, exercise equipment. Equipment, equipment. Equipment. Where they sell exercise equipment. Okay, so the exercise equipment is a virtual store. That's a virtual store. So the store sells products to exercise. What's the market? Okay, what is the market? Uh, I don't know if I got your your 
your question, but the market, I guess, is the people who made exercise, runners, uh, people who, who want, who likes go to the gym. Who likes to go to the gym. Very good. Go to, go to, go to, go to the gym. Very good. Yeah, that's their market. The fitness people. Okay. The people, fitness. Fitness people. Yeah, so is that market saturated? And also the the English application that the, appear in the okay. Let's go with <laughs> the YouTube videos. Yeah, let's. Is a, is a marketing strategy. A marketing strategy. We're not. Just, we are not. That's unit two. <laughs> <laughs> marketing. Okay. Marketing strategies. Okay, let's go with our niche. Do you know what is a niche? Niche, N-I-C-H? Yes. Okay, a niche of market. Yes. It's specific people. A specific market. A specific, a specific, a specific market. The a specific profile that you're looking for. That's exactly. Okay, so in that sense, can you saturate virtually a market? Yes. Right now, for example, English uh, courses, uh, there's a saturation of English courses online. It's going viral, you know, everybody wants to uh, learn English, French, uh, you name it. And that's a very saturated market. However, in my perspective and from what I have learned and studied late, lately, you cannot saturate the market. At this point, in our globalized world, you cannot saturate the market. It's too big. The virtual market is is the whole world. I mean, everybody. What do you think? I agree. Sure. Yeah, I agree with your opinion. It, it depends on your on your product. It depends on your product. Okay. Yeah, you can say about. Okay, so with that being said. What time is it? 47? Okay. So with that being said, would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? Does competition affect business negatively? Negatively. Listen, negatively. 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 Difficult word. How? Okay. Would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? What is fierce? Uh, strong, strong. Uh, aggressive, aggressive. aggressive. Violent. Violent. Beasts, you know, like there's companies. Let me give you an example. I would disagree. Inglés Corporativo doesn't have fierce competitors. Why? Because our boss, <laughs> I'm just going to talk about my boss. Okay. Because our boss is very smart and he looked for uh, the best teachers. He looked for uh, people who really wanted and loved to teach, okay? So he was very smart in that sense. And the only thing that Inglés Corporativo does is one thing, and it's the InsaForp English course. That's it, that's it. So there is a book, there is a book called the one thing, the one thing by Gary Keller. And it talks about doing one thing at a time. Don't think about three or four businesses. Just do one at a time and do it good. Simple. Okay? Make sense? Yes. Okay. Good. So in that sense, I will say that our company doesn't have fierce competitors and Competition affects our businesses, our businesses, uh, our business negatively, negatively. Mm, no, in our case, no. in our case, you know, nobody, nobody does what we're doing. We're teaching for work. The other academies are just teaching English because, you know, just because. I teach English privately, uh, but any topic, you know, we start talking and talking and having a conversation, and that's the best way to learn. But, you know, this is English for work, which is more into detail as you're learning right now. 
Okay. Maybe maybe the competition is uh, English for call center. What? There's bad connection. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can hear that. Yeah, no, it's not. That's not competition. They are on the coast. They're in the call center industry. In work industry, you know, it's different. They don't teach these topics. This topic is not taught at English uh, for call centers. I was a manager in at English for call centers uh, for three or three years ago. So, you got the idea? Two questions. Yeah. Two questions. Well, okay. I'm going to split you really quick, just for five minutes. Please talk. Talk to your classmates. Um, Xiomara, I know your camera is not going to work. Walter, welcome, Walter. Okay. Nope. Okay. Walter, welcome to the class. If you can, please turn on your camera. Gabriel as well. Please turn on your camera. So we only have 10 minutes for this activity. Let me split the class. Please have a conversation with your classmates with these three questions, okay? Did you take notes or a screenshot? No. Yeah. No. 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 Not, really. Not really. Let me do something really quick. Um, where is it? I'm gonna send you uh, the image to the group, okay? Okay. okay thank you. Should be very simple. Okay, when I do that, for some reason, when I try to copy straight from Gretzi, it doesn't go through. Sorry, guys, give me just one second. There we go. Okay. I'm sending it right now and I'll split the class so you can practice with your classmates answering that question, okay? There you go. Okay, let's do it. Please speak. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Um, Eunice and Ricardo. Okay, um, yeah. let me see the picture. Okay, yeah, okay, um, let's start. Um, um we talk about uh, Jose, what, what do you think? What do you think about would you agree that your company has first competitors? Competitors, okay, so I think it's, it's um, more one uh, opportunity and my company have to uh, um, I think have to um, take a bat right and, and, and make a, a others product maybe or not or take the ideas of the, the team's creator or designer or the people is, are create the, the product right but I think is a is an advantage because uh, you you um, maybe you can say you don't sleep in the market right what about you what do you think I mean it's a it's a, um, an opportunity too I agree with you uh, because um well, it depends the 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 product or the company, no. Um, for example, uh, the the teacher says that la pupusas. 
yeah. when when you saw a lot of um, pupusas stored, um, maybe uh, it depends the place, no? It, your your vision, your vision uh, for the store pupusas store, uh, maybe is, is is negative for you, no? When you see mm -hmm. when you see a lot of pupusas stores, uh, well, I think it depends the the company and the products. Thank you. Yeah, it's correct. Uh, minute, uh, Jacqueline, have you ever lived in the states, or have you gone to the states? Yes, I I gone. <laughs> okay, you've been there. Okay, I've been there. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, that's a that's a muletilla. That's a let's say a buffer that you get when you learn in the streets. Okay, and that's good. Yeah. Good, actually. Uh, it depends the product. It depends on the product. Okay, yeah. preposition. It depends on the product. It depends on the place. Now this is the buffer. Monetia, okay? No. Okay. No is a buffer to say, you know. Same as in Spanish. La misma cosa, okay. la misma cosa que en español, ¿sabes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> For you know. For you know. Okay. For you, you know. Yes, I know. Okay. Yeah. See, <laughs> so you got you, it. You got it. Yes. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Great job, guys. Keep talking. Keep talking. Okay. I like that. Okay. Okay. Um, we, uh, that my company has fierce competitors because uh, it's it's good for the market have a a, a fierce compet competitors. They they give another strategies to to improve the process to improve the products or good on service and i think uh, that's competi competition affect business positively not negatively uh, it's because uh, because uh, this competition uh, make or the companies have to uh, to make a better good and services. Yes. Teacher, excuse me. What do you say negatively? Ne negative, negatively. How do negatively. you say? How, how do you pronounce Neg negatively? And you have a. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Negatively. 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 Again. Negatively. 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 Okay. You say negatively. No. Okay. It's negatively. 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 Okay. Okay. Close. Close. Now this should be the stress of the syllable. Do you remember when I told you about it? About the stress of the syllable? Where is this thing? Okay. And the stress goes here negatively. 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 My one, Francisco. Negatively. 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 Perfect. Melissa? Negatively. 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 Okay, negatively. That's it. I know it sounds difficult, but you just have to practice. Okay, uh, Francisco, repeat. Competitors. Competitors. Perfect. 
competitors. competitors. It's good for the market have. It's good for the market to have competitors. Okay. Okay. The the um, preposition between two verbs. There's always a preposition bef between two verbs. I think if you think if you think you're getting drunk. Yeah, you're getting drowned. Okay. No, oh, drowned. Drown it. I can't. No, draw, drown it. No, it's not here. Drown it. You're drawing. Drown it. Okay, homework for me. Drown it. Okay. You're getting drown it. You're sinking. If you me estoy hundiendo. Me hundo. Okay. <laughs> it says I think. Sink. Look. Think. Okay. I think. I think. 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 Okay. Uh, then you said, make a better good in service. I think they can make better, or they can, yeah, they can get, they can make better in service. Okay, they can make better. So good, remember, better, the best. Okay, good, better is the compar the, co the comparison, and the best is the support form, okay? And that's, oh, one more thing. Teacher, what do you say? Hmm. Teacher, how do you say? How do you say? How do how do you say patata in English? Or mm, how do you Abby, you said it? How do you pronounce how do you pronounce potato? For example. Okay. Okay. How do you potato? Oh potato. How do, how you, do you pronounce? Pronounce 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 potato, okay? How do you pronounce? How do you say something? How do you say from Spanish to English? Okay. Good. Okay. Very good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep practicing. I'm going with another group. Okay. okay. Thank you. Always have a competition. Competition mostly for the best. Uh, the best education. Best um a study you teach in a public school and i think that there are always a first competitor competitor competitors competitors that's right competitors I think. thank you competitors and you need to uh, perform a lot of things and have new strategies and, and new stra strategy strategies. and all the students and maybe negatively because if you are not prepared how can I say preparada to be prepared prepared to be prepared to be prepared for to to be ready oh. Mm, yes, I think. Okay, you're doing great, girls. Very good. I like the way you speak. I'm finding a lot of vocabulary in this group, actually. That's that's really good. You're doing really good. Okay, let's. Thanks. Welcome. Okay, let's go back to the main class. Okay. 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 Hello, Walter, can you hear me? 
Walter. Sorry, guys, give me just one second. I'm texting. Oh, okay. It looks like Walter just left the session for some reason. Okay, guys. So it is 9.04. Let's check really quick your attendance to make sure that you are here. Today is our third session. So let's go. Okay, let's go with Carla Eugenia Molina. Here. Excellent, Carla. As usual, thank you. Marvin Jose Aguilar. Marvin. Okay, no Marvin. Oh, Marvin is uh, in mute, <laughs> but he's uh, here. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, Jose Aguilar. Thank you. Okay. Then we have Ricardo Alexander. Uh, he, yeah, Ricardo Rodriguez, no? Ricardo. Present. Present, hello. Thank you. Okay, let's go with Bertha Patricia. Thank you. What happened to you yesterday? You couldn't, you couldn't make it yesterday, Patricia? You are mute, Patricia. You're muted. 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 You're muted. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I had I had headache. You had a headache. Hey, listen. I had a I had a headache. I had a headache. Very good pronunciation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go with Ismenia Abigail. Many, I see you here. Okay, thank you. Uh, then I have Xiomara Hernandez, who is with us today, but her camera, her camera is. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, thank you. Alvin Jose. Yeah. Here. Here. Thank you. Maria Elena Tamayo. She's not with us today. Yeah, she's not with us today. Okay, I have Eunice de la Paz. I guess. Yes, here, teacher. Excellent. Jonathan Alexander, he's not here. He actually texted me. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Here. Guardado. Here. Thank, Thank here. you. I'm here, teacher, Gabriel Alvarado. I know, let me get there. Jose Ernesto. Jose Ernesto, Jose Ernesto, no Jose Ernesto, okay. Um, Melissa Ibet. Hi. Aguilar, thank you. Okay, Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Okay, Saida Carolina Hernandez. Saida. Here. There he is. Okay, thank you. Um, Walter Abraham Hernandez. Walter was here, but he left for some reason. Um, Francisco Adrián Martínez, thank you, and María Soledad Gómez. Here, yeah. yeah, teacher. Wait, I have María Soledad Gómez. Vanessa Alexandra Ortiz, Vanessa Alexandra Ortiz, mm -mm. she's not here, right? Okay, Aleida Raquel. Here, yeah, teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's move on. Whew. What is the next topic uh, that we have to cover in this section? I can't even think about it right now. Just one second. My whole family left and they left me. Alone. Okay, so um, we're supposed to talk about a very 
interesting topic. We're supposed to create um, a debate. Who can tell me what is a debate? It's a kind of conversation when everybody says his own opinion. His or her own opinion, good, okay. And what happens with that opinion? Happen? Yeah, what's wrong with that opinion? Something, something you are agree or disagree with, with, with this opinion. Do you, okay, you can agree or disagree with the opinion, but you have to defend, defend the opinion, right? Let's say. Okay. Teacher, sometimes the uh, de debate. Huh? Debates? Could, could debate could turn to an arc or a fight. A fight, an argument. That's the point. So just be careful, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, I'm just doing something here really quick. What else? Have you ever been a debate, a professional debate, let's say? I was in a conference uh, about the, um, I don't know, who do you say? How do you, how do you, how do you? How do you, how do you say donar sangre? Oh, to donate blood? Yeah, with the, with the, with the, in a, in a, some religion, uh, the Testigos de Jehová. Oh, DJs. I got it. Okay. Like, like. What? This singer, what was his name? Bob Marley. Bob Marley couldn't donate sang uh, blood. <laughs> Serena Quintanilla. Some something say me that she she died because they don't don't accept a blood of other people. Okay, someone told me. Someone told me. Say me now. Told me. They they she did the same thing with Bob Marley. He died because he he couldn't receive somebody else's or someone else's blood. It's not allowed under religion. Oh my God, okay, that's tough. Okay, so what's the debate about? What do you want the debate about? We have to talk about what we were just talking, okay? Is it good or bad to have competitors? Is it good or bad to have competitors? I think it's good to have competitors. I, I don't way. let me show you what I was doing. I, I don't need to use this with you. <laughs> Looks like okay. Let me let me do it. Okay, I'm gonna choose someone random. Uh, that's good. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you have you have the op you have the op <laughs> statement. Throw the statement. What? You have the opening statement. You know what is? Here, sorry, I can't see very well. <laughs> oh, the screen? Yeah. Mm. Yes. That's not good. Okay. Okay. But you can see the Google. Well, don't worry. Right now, we're gonna talk and talk and talk. Okay, so. I need uh, a lady that to throw the first um, argument, the statement. What do you think about um, competitors? Having competitors, is it good or bad? I think it's good because I think that if you have a competitor, that's, I don't know, how do you say, te anima? Ah? That moves you to that encouraged you that encourages you okay um to be better than the competitor compet competitors 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 very good okay let's see if that's true okay there we go the next person and the next person has to be on the negative side so whoever let's see Oh, oh, Jose Ernesto, Molina. Do we have a Jose Ernesto? No, right? No, there's no Jose Ernesto Molina here. Is Josue Aguilar? No, okay. 
Again, I just copied the list, I'm sorry, the roster. Jonathan is not here too, he didn't come today. Lucky Jonathan. Okay, let me go with Gabriel Alexander. Okay, Gabriel, please turn on your microphone and you have to go against Aleida. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel, could you hear us? I think he's left. I think he's sleeping. Gabriel? Teacher, he, he's left. He left? Yeah, sure. Oh, God, okay, he disconnected, okay. Thank you. Okay, then I'm getting Vanessa Alexandra. She here? No? Okay, <laughs> nobody's here, what's going on? Okay, one more. Eunice? No? Yes? Yeah, I'm. <laughs> Joanna. No, Jacqueline, okay. Just for a little bit. Oh, it's Jacqueline, yeah. Okay. okay. Jacqueline, whenever you're ready, tell uh, You go against Aleida's, Aleida's comment, okay? She said that it was positive, but you have to say it's negative. Okay. Um, I think you have fewer opportunities to increase business if you have more uh, competitors. Okay. That's it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> fewer com uh, opportunities if you have competitors. Repeat. Few competitors. Fewer. 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 Yeah, fewer opportunities if you have competitors. Opportunities if you have competitors. Okay, competitors. Competitors. There you go. Competitors. Oh. Competitors. Okay. Like that. Competitors. Very good. Let me see. If, yeah, I can make it here. Okay. Let's go with the next person. Great job. The next person needs to be on the positive side, okay? You have to say something positive about having competitors. Eunice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, whenever you're ready, Eunice. Um, positive. Yeah. Um, I think that is a um, opportune of opportunity for increase and for uh, in I I don't know, teacher. How do you say innovate? They innovate. Okay, and innovate. Uh, when I when I have some competi competitors. <laughs> yes, that's a competitor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to um, make this a little bit more difficult. Okay. Okay. I will add time for you to speak. I will add. Just 30 seconds, okay, on the board. Now, really quick, guys. When you say this, the prepositions, let's talk about the prepositions for and to. If you have to, you need a verb. If you have mm -hmm. for, you need a noun. Just keep that in mind. So in this case, increase, is it a verb or a noun? A noun. <gasps> a noun. <gasps> no, it's an action. Think, it's an action. So it is a verb. It is a verb. Okay? Yeah, a verb. To increase. To increase. 
to increase my income. Increase my income. I need to increase my sales, okay. For innovate, what is innovate? Is it a verb or a noun? A noun. It, a noun. Yeah, uh, no. no. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It's an action. Innovation, action. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. To innovate. To, okay. in, to, to innovate. It's an action. To innovate. Oh, That's, wow. Be careful. A verb. What's an action? What is it? Yeah. Let's use four. Okay, for me, for you, for the newspaper, it's easy. You got it? Okay, got it. Okay, okay. Four? Okay. Oh, be careful. You can also say, activate the verb and say, for making money, okay, you have to, da, 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 da. For making money, you have to work hard, for example. You got it? For making. You can add a verb with ing after four. Okay? Okay. We'll be using okay. four with purpose. Okay, let, let me select somebody else. So we need a negative statement. Somebody that says a negative statement about having competitors. Okay, Martha Patricia, why is it negative to have competitors? I think to have competi competitors, mm -hmm. it is, it's bad because um, the sales are less. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it? Oh, I didn't, I didn't put the clock right. Wait a minute. <laughs> you didn't find me, come on. You, you're, you're cheaters. You're cheaters. You're cheaters, tramposos. Okay. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. Let me add 30 seconds on the board, okay? Bertha, Patricia, please. Do it again. And by the way, let me correct this first. Let's see if you get it. You say think. Okay. Think. 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 Better. Thank you. Better. Thanks. Thanks. Cells are less. Uh, cells are less. You could have said uh, cells decrease. Okay, as we saw in the class, cells decrease. Okay. That's it. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Do it again. Think. Think. 30 seconds on the board, Bertha, I mean, Patricia, one, two, three. Why are competitors negative, a negative thing for your business? I don't understand, teacher. Talk. <laughs> okay. You have to speak for 30 seconds. That's the point. Okay. Let me do it one more time. Okay, give me well, 30 seconds <laughs> on the screen, okay? Well, I think... Um, wait, 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 wait. You have 30 seconds starting right now. Go. Well, I think to have com competitors is bad because the, the cell, cell are less. Uh, Um, so, I don't have idea. <laughs> I don't have idea. <laughs> oh, good. Don't worry. Very good, actually. Um, here's what happens, guys. When you are learning English, your brain goes into two. Okay, it breaks into two. So, in this side, you have Spanish. In this side, you have English. And when you try to speak and you don't have vocabulary, then you go blank, okay? You don't know what to say. It's okay. 
So your area of improvement tonight, Patricia, will be vocabulary, okay? Okay. Just one more, guys, and we jump into the next topic, which is wood rather, okay? Let me see who is going to help us with this. Walter is gone. Hopefully he's not uh, here. Is he here? No, he's not here, right? Okay. Should have removed him before. And we have Maria Elena Tamayo, who's not here too. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, let's see Alvin. Okay. Yeah, I know that Alvin Alvin wanted to talk. So Alvin, whenever you're ready, you have to say something positive. Why is it positive to have competitors? Well, um they makes you three uh, better. go. It makes you better every day because uh, you have to to win to to them. So uh, you have to be more creative. You have to be um, uh, wiser than 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 them. So uh, it makes to you uh, a shark in the business. So uh, I think uh, that that brings the best of you. Excellent. Okay. Okay, very good. Your fluency, Alvin, is good. But um, remember what I have always told you, right? I try to articulate a little better. You will make it. Okay, the, okay, this doesn't go here. It makes you better, good, every day because you have to win to them. This guy doesn't go here, the preposition. Because you have to win them. You have to give me a, a synonym for win, Alvin. Um, yeah. I, I, to win. Defeat it? You have to defeat. Very good. Defeat. You have to defeat them. Okay. Uh, makes you, you were missing the, of the subject here. It makes you, it makes to you, again, that too. Too. Be careful with that. It makes you, uh, okay, that sounded natural, okay. It makes you sharp in, again, two. Uh-oh. Uh, I, I tried to say, uh, no, no sharp, it's shark, like tiburón. Yes, I'm sorry, yes. That was my mistake, shark. Okay, it makes you a shark in business. Okay, very good. Great job. Thank okay. you. Let's keep going. See? Okay, we're going to continue with the topic. And this time. Okay. So let's put this into context. And tomorrow we're going to, to use um, the following conversation on your notebook, I mean, on your student's book which is related to this, okay? It's a conversation, we're, gonna, we're going to practice it tomorrow and move on to the, to the grammar topic. I will prepare something better for you regarding will rather, but this time, let's take a look at the grammar. Really quick, this is on page 13, and we have to learn the uses or the use of would rather. Can you see the screen? Yes. 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 How to use? Okay. Hmm. I just can't turn off some microphones for some reason. Okay, there we go. Listen, would rather. Let's start by that. Would. Would okay, would rather rather so number one, as you can see here, you can contract the model would with the subject and say I've you'd he'd she'd 
it is no it no with it no it would you can do it 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 it, 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 it. okay then Jude with with Dave Dave so yes you can use all of the subjects and contract them using the apostrophe V apostrophe V it's not a comma it's an apostrophe okay so look at the examples on the box and complete the exercise below let's see uh, the grammar mainly okay so would rather plus the base form of the verb would rather is used to give your opinion okay or your preference actually your preference uh whether you like something you heard <laughs> whether you like something or not um, and this form is more common in speaking than in writing hmm interesting maybe because it's not so formal could be okay so you can use would much rather for a stronger preference but would rather by itself is just telling saying that you prefer to do this instead of this okay and let's look at these examples before i give you more examples many companies would rather withdraw by the way is withdraw withdraw the product you know many companies would rather withdraw the product you know we would rather relaunch the product than discontinue it so it's like saying we prefer to relaunch the product than discontinue it many companies would prefer to remove or to withdraw the product you know would prefer they'd rather withdraw the product you know okay so you can contract it do you have any questions so far yes i have a question that is okay oh that is that is good to say um i will i will prefer or we need to use will read i will suggest you to use i'll rather i would rather okay it's the same it is the same thing but i i can use it in sentences yes of course i will prefer uh, to tell you later let's say you cannot tell that person right now about a secret let's say or you have to talk about something very uh, delicate, a very delicate situation. So you tell him, I will prefer to tell you later, sure. not right now. Or I will, but look at the difference. I will tell you later. I will rather tell you later. I will rather tell you later. You see, you don't need the infinitive. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't need the infinitive form of the verb. You just need the verb. The verb, the verb, verb. Sorry, the verb, verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I was saying you can also contract this. I'd rather. I'd rather tell you later. Listen. I'd rather tell you later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'd rather quit. Now, this can be used as a comparison between your preferences. Listen, a comparison of your preferences. What would you rather do? And that's a question. What would you rather do? Okay, we're going to play something right now. Okay, after this, I'd rather. Quit, then then what i'd rather quit my job than mm -hmm. complete the sentence to handle my boss oh my god 
Uh, handle my boss. Uh, just, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds weird. Okay. <laughs> and let's say, then dealing with my boss. Then, then continue dealing. Then continue dealing with my boss. That sounds better. Okay, I'll, I'd rather quit my job than continue dealing with my boss. Okay, yeah, that sounds better. Okay, you got it? Yep. Got it, thank you. Excellent. Now I'm gonna give you some options so you can think about, let me just get them right now. Let me get that really quick for you here. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, is this book available for us in PDF? Yes, you can actually download it from the platform. Okay. You have access to Intermediate 3, and there is the, the book is right there. Just access the platform. You will find it very easily. Okay, I have opened the 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 course, but course, uh -huh. I don't I don't know where is the link for for upload the the book to upload the book uh, to download the book. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That should be very simple. Okay, let's play something, okay? First of all, I'm going to play a short video and I will go asking you question by question, okay? Funny, would These are funny, would you rather questions. Can you see the screen? Yes. 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 Let's go. Would you rather question? Would you rather wear the same underwear for a month? Or not day for a month. Okay, so let's see somebody who can answer that question. Carla, would you rather wear the same underwear for one month, for a month, or <laughs> would you rather not bathe for a month? Not bathe for a month. Really? <laughs> Good, let's go with the next question. Thank you, Carla. Would you rather dance everywhere you went? Or sing everything you had to say? Okay, Francisco, would you rather dance everywhere you went or sing everything you had to say, Francisco? I prefer seeing everything I have to say. Repeat, I rather I I rather seeing everything I had to I have to say. Perfect. Okay, that's the point, guys. Okay, great job. Yeah. Go with the next one. Would you rather be a cow? Or be a chicken? Okay, would you rather, let me see who's here after Francisco, Melissa. Uh, I, I uh, would rather to be a clown. Okay, again, I'd rather be a cow. I, I'd, re uh, I'd rather to be a cow. Don't add the two before the verb. So I'd rather be a cow. I'd rather be a cow. There you go. I'd rather be a cow. Do it faster. I'd rather be a cow. I'd rather be a cow. Okay. Why? Why not a chicken? Because the life of, of the cow is more than a chicken. <laughs> Cows live longer. Cows live yeah. than chicken. Remember. Yeah. Comparatives. Cows live longer than chicken. Is that true? <laughs> I think because if chicken only, I don't know how many years 
live uh, a chicken. How many years maybe, does chicken live? May, may, maybe months. <laughs> yeah, well, it depends, right? What do we eat more, chicken or, or beef? Okay, <laughs> I like your logic. Okay, but but is cow a uh, milk only milk cow? cow? Your milk. The cow. life is uh -huh. the life is long longer. Life okay. Cow's life is longer if they milk it. If they milk it. Very good. I like that. Great job. Okay, let's see. Would you rather be a tree or live in a tree? Okay. Who's next? Let me see. Xiomara. Xiomara Hernandez. Yes. Would you rather be a tree? I will. Uh huh. Live in a tree. Live in a tree. You will rather live in a tree. Okay. I, I would rather live in a tree. Good. Good pronunciation. Okay. I would rather live in a tree. Okay. Go with next one for Patricia Lehmann. Would you rather lick a toilet seat? <laughs> or lick a garbage can? Patricia, I'm sorry. Oh. You have to wait. <laughs> Choose one. Select one. Would you rather lick, <laughs> lick a garbage can? Um, I I rather I I rather rather I rather. Uh, be lick a toilet seat. Okay, I'd rather lick a toilet seat. I'd rather lick a toilet seat. Very good, okay, really? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, thank you. No. <laughs> Would you rather eat a rat tank? Or eat moldy cheese? Okay, Alvin. Would you rather eat a rotten egg or eat moldy cheese? You know what is a rotten or rotten egg? I'd rather eat moldy cheese. Really? You know what's moldy? Well, uh, for something we, we will have to die. <laughs> <laughs> we will have we have to die of something, right? You're totally right on that. Okay, moldy is when the cheese goes green, you know, and there's mold, mold, um, musgo, let's say mold, yeah. moldy, yeah. And rotten is podrido, right? Podrido. Yeah, very good. So moldy cheese instead of a rotten egg, rotten, rotten egg. Okay, good. Almost done. Would you, Jacqueline? Smell like poop after your shower. Oh my God. <laughs> Or smell like fish after every meal. Okay, Jacqueline, what do you prefer? I <laughs> rather smell like fish after every meal. After every meal. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Me too, definitely. Thank you. Wow. Okay, let's Would see. Would you rather eat a rotten tomato? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Eat a bowl of cat food. Okay, Maria, would you rather eat a rotten tomato or eat a bowl of cat food? Where's my I rather I rather eat a rotten tomato. A rotten tomato. Okay, what? Instead of a bowl of cat? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, cat food as well, guys. So, yeah, processed food in the end. Okay, Francisco, you're next. 
Would you rather always be overdressed? Or always be underdressed? Okay. <laughs> would you rather always be overdressed or would you rather be... I'm sorry, would you rather always be underdressed? I'd rather always be overdressed. Overdressed, yeah, like a diver, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, guys, these are questions uh, you can find um, in conversation starters. You can actually go and change questions now that you can speak. Okay? Okay. And that's it. Okay, it's time for us to check again the attendance. We're about to finish. And remember, today, some of you will be with me after this class for about 10 minutes. So we can talk about any doubts you have. It's optional if you want to connect, but it's very important if you want to improve about anything, grammar, you know, um, any, any tense, any tense that you have doubts with. So with the past, the present continuous, the future, any tense that you should have already seen. Okay, and if you have still doubts or tips, tips for pronunciation, tips for improving your fluency, what else? Any techniques that I can recommend you? I already, I'm already thinking what I'm going to tell you. So after the class, uh, who's going? Who's going first after the class? Oh, good, Carla. Great. Okay, you you had received that information, right? So let me check the um, attendance really quick. God, I can't find it. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to do it again, guys, one by one. Remember, just say here. Okay. Today's the 29th, right? Yeah. Okay. Carla Eugenia Molina. Here. Thank you. Marvin Josue. Here. Thank you. Ricardo Alexander Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Patricia. Present. She's gone, really? She left? Okay, good. Um, Xiomara Hernandez, still with us? Okay. Xiomara, can you say here, please? I'm here. Thank you. Vin Jose. Alvin Jose. Over here. Thank you. Sorry, guys, you have to talk, okay? Then we have Eunice de la Paz. She didn't come today, no? Here. Here is. Thank you. Um, Jonathan Alexander is not here because he reported. Uh, Jacqueline. Here. Thank you, Jacqueline Guardado. Thank you. We have Josue, no, Jose Ernesto Molina. Nope. Melissa Ivette. Thank you. Gabriel Alexander. Alvarado. Gabriel, can you turn on your microphone or your camera, please? Oh, Patricia, I said your name already, okay? I can see you now. Good. Okay, Gabriel, can you hear us? Okay. Friend. No. Okay. Walter was here, but he left. Then we have uh, Francisco Adrian here. Thank you. We have so Melissa. Oh no, Maria Soledad Gomez. Here, Thank you, Vanessa Alexandra. She didn't come today. And then we have Aleida Raquel. That's it. Aleida? Is Aleida gone? I guess she was feeling bad, right? She said she wasn't feeling fine. Okay, guys. So any doubts, any questions? We're almost done with the class, but let me know if you have any doubts, any questions. Teacher, no me mencionó. Who? Teacher, me too. Saida. Is me? Abigail, really? 
and in many no yeah you're there you're good okay i have you here and abigail 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 where are you is Peña Abigail Trejo Hernandez? Yes. Okay. Your attendance is good, guys. Let me see what's next. Okay. So now that you have seen how we have to use wood plus rather, let's get into that detail a little bit more. Let's make sure you understand this the way we did with the present perfect, okay? So you have a subject, then you have the model would, then rather, in this case, we're gonna use rather, okay? Plus the base form of the verb. Keep an eye on that, it's base. Base form of the verb. Plus some sort of complement. Okay? Now, is there a way to say, is there a way to say this in negative? What do you think? Hmm? Would, would not. No, would rather base bear in. Hmm. I would rather not. Yes, that's right. I would rather not. I would rather not go there. So that's like saying, Teacher, yeah. uh, it's possible to say, I wouldn't rather, rather, I wouldn't rather, no. Is it possible? I wouldn't rather, let's see, I wouldn't. Rather do that. Hmm. What do you think? Does it sound good? I wouldn't rather do that. I would rather not do that. I would rather not do that. If I were you, I would. Ooh. What? It doesn't sound so good. I. If I were, I'd not rather do that. Sounds complex. <laughs> it sounds complex. Yes, I wouldn't rather do that. I'd not rather do that. You. <laughs> if you contract it, I not rather. Do that. We're not do that. It sounds better. I'd not rather. I, sounds better. Uh, no, this sounds better. I'd rather not. I'd rather not do that. That sounds better. Not to do. Okay. Now, can you use this on second or third person? What? Can you do this? in second or third person okay uh, mm, you would ra rather okay you, you will you would rather and you would or you okay rather what rather um play play with my guitar play no. guitar what are you saying, Alvin? Can you translate it? Eh, ¿Tú preferirías tocar con mi guitarra? Oh. <laughs> no. Okay, no, guys. You cannot use would rather with a second or a third person. Why? Can somebody tell me why? I'm going to give you a clue. I'm going to give you a clue, okay? Remember? Okay. Would is for possibility. Okay. Some people call it on future. I'm sorry, future or uh, on real future or. Yeah, just in, or situations. That's for unreal future or situations. So if you add would to a verb, by the way, would is a model. Okay, is a model. And like every model is it is 
its own auxiliary. So, in other words, you cannot use does plus would, okay? Or does plus a model, let's say, a model plus does, because that doesn't make sense. You cannot say, I would or I wouldn't, don't go there, okay? You have to say, I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't. Me están siguiendo, díganme, sí o no? Yes. Yes? Yes? yes. Okay. Es como poner una doble negación. Excelente, rápido. Todos los modales son su mismo auxiliar. Es decir, la fórmula de los modales, ya supongo que se la ponen. Subject plus the model plus the verb in its base form plus the complement. Como dice la regla, solo ocupo al modal, que va a ser el mismo auxiliar, a ese le voy a agregar el not. Ok. Plus the verb plus the complement. And the question is what? Si está el modal al principio, que le es el auxiliar, y al auxiliar le agrego el not, el auxiliar lo traigo al frente para hacer una pregunta. Ok. Model plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement. Ok. So, this is like for everything. Para todos los modales, esta regla se debe cumplir. Él es su propio auxiliar. No necesitas ningún otro auxiliar. Número dos, no aceptan modificaciones. ¿Sí? No puedes ocupar esto, agregar la S en las terceras personas del presente, por ejemplo. Es imposible. ¿Ok? O lo que te pasaba al principio, que decías can's. Por ejemplo, she can's. <laughs> No, okay. Be careful, okay. Okay. The models that you know. So would means día, día. Would agrega esa partícula de probabilidad al verbo. Okay. So if I say I would eat, fish, I would eat. Patricia, translate to Spanish. I would eat. Yo preferiría comer. Ah, ya nos salimos. Okay. I'm saying I would eat. Somebody? I would eat. Me gustaría comer. Uh -huh. Ahí está el punto. Creemos que would es como ya de por sí ese I would like. Sí, porque te gustó ese tema. Ah, te... I comería. Yo comería. Ya está. Simplemente le está agregando, imagínate. Articularía al verbo. Ok. Good. Si te digo, I will jump. Uh -huh. Yo saltaría. Yo saltaría. Saltaría. Yo saltaría, saltaría. Ok. I will see. I will sleep. I will sleep. Dormiría. Pero estoy en clase. <laughs> I will sleep. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y está en chiva la clase. I will sleep. I will sleep. Yes. Ok. Good. Repasen eso, bichos. Si ya lo vieron, es importante. I could. I could tell you. Vamos al siguiente. Modal. Uh -huh. Debería. Yo podría decirte. Podría decirte. Podría decirte. Ojo con eso. Ok. So, aterrizando lo anterior. No podría ocupar would, rather, con segundas y terceras personas porque eso da probabilidad. Esa probabilidad de que tú preferirías algo, ¿ya? El would le está dando ese día a preferir. Esto no tiene traducción. Rather. ¿Ok? You would rather. En ese caso, Alvin, tendríamos que usar you should para sugerencias. Should. ¿Qué quiere decir should? Debería. 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 Excellent. She should rather quit her job. She should rather quit her job. Okay. For example, ella debería de renunciar a su trabajo. Y prácticamente está diciendo en lugar de 
lo estoy dejando en el contexto ese en lugar de. ¿Ok? O es como decir, ella debería de preferir renunciar a su trabajo. You should rather play with my guitar. Tú deberías, tú deberías de preferir tocar con mi guitarra. Okay. No preferirías tocar mi guitarra, preferirías tocar con mi guitarra. Es una pregunta, ajá, y suena mejor en pregunta, muy bien, Frank. Uh -huh. ¿Me oí qué chivo? Should, should you, should you, should you rather play my guitar? Should you rather play with my guitar? Should you rather? Okay. Shouldn't you rather play my guitar? ¿No preferirías tocar mi guitarra? No preferirías. ¿Va bien el with o no? ¿Mm? El with, el with my guitar o solo play my guitar. Play with my, oh, play my guitar, ajá, huh? play with my guitar. Tocar con mi guitarra o tocar mi guitarra. Depende del contexto, ¿no? Estás en un concierto, tocar con mi guitarra, vas a tocar con mi guitarra. O estás en la casa nada más y... En lugar de jugar Nintendo, ¿no preferirías tocar mi guitarra? ¿Ya? Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Context. Very good. Qué feo el español en teacher. Bro. Ok, let's move on. Uh, uh. <laughs> guys, we're almost done. Do you have any questions? Questions. No? Ok, so we're done. Um, I'll be waiting for Carla. To, to reconnect, and then the rest of you, I'll be here for you, okay? Okay. We connected with the same ID, or you send us? You, you should have received oh, okay, uh, okay. an invitation, yeah. Si te toca, um, yeah. tenemos una invitación. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'll see Thank you tomorrow at 7.59 p.m., okay? Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night.